Good evening and welcome to your favorite sports show, the Daily Trot uh, Sports Show. My name is Joshua Demi, your sports commando, and uh, as usual with me on the show is Mr. Jide uh, um, Olushola, the sports terminator. You are welcome. Welcome, viewers. Good evening. Yeah. The, this week or uh, today is a big day in the in uh, Europe when uh, Chelsea will be taking on Liverpool in the UEFA Super Cup tonight. And uh, we also have uh, the Tigress story, the Nigerian female uh, by senior basketball team who are making who are doing exploit in Senegal. We we'll always we'll talk about their match yesterday where they defeated um, um, Cameroon. One, uh, I think one uh, six, one one six, six, uh, to thirty something, and we we'll also look at the fixtures in the uh, Premiership this weekend. We'll talk about the Nigerian uh, football clubs that are played in the continent at the weekend, and also the transfer market if we have the time. Uh, you can join the conversation on our Facebook page, Daily Trust, and on our Twitter handle, Daily underscore Trust. First. Liverpool and Chelsea will be knocking on tonight in the um, Super Europa Super Cup uh, game in uh, Turkey. And Chelsea, having been lashed 4-0 uh, at the weekend by an average uh, Manchester United. What, what would you call Manchester United? An average it was an team. average performance on Sunday. It was a different performance for them to have scored four goals. Yeah, okay, that, was, that, that is your opinion. So they will be taking on uh, Liverpool who are ready to uh, replicate their their uh, superb performance last season they started that with their first game where they they they, they what what, what uh, whitewashed their opponents and uh, they will be looking forward to doing same against Chelsea tonight you know the game against uh, these super giants because they are, they are both giants they are both european champions and they are both a league champ i mean league champions even though liverpool won this uh, league last like uh, 22 or 23 years ago uh on current form liverpool have the upper edge over the blues so the probably the reds will fly over you know the, fl the reds will dominate the blues okay you you agreed on that no, based on current form. Okay. But then, football is... Football, you cannot, you cannot predict football. Even though you can have an idea of what, how the game will end, but you cannot predict anything could happen. Liverpool could just, you know, lose concentration, yeah. just the way back. Then, then I, I, like, how many times have they done that in the previous years? Losing concentration in the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the time they needed it most. Big clubs lose concentration. Okay, look at Liverpool against Barcelona. I, I scored. I just scored the, the last two goals. Liverpool, well, Liverpool wanted it more, but just a second or a few seconds of uh, uh, lapses they scored. So it can happen. You can be leading. You can be okay. Liverpool is similar in the 2005 Champions League, where a similar were leading, were leading 2-0, them so 3-0, yeah. but they came back. And it can happen. Liverpool can win. Okay, now Liverpool yeah, can yeah, win. Yes, can I, I get your point. And I get your just point. Go back and when you are comparing Liverpool. Of 2005 Five. with AC Milan. Now let's look at the two teams now: Liverpool and Chelsea. Mm -hmm. You see the kind of players that was paraded by Frank Lampard against Manchester United in their opener, in their uh, uh, Premiership opener at the weekend. You see the the the, the 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 defense, the midfield combination, and the strike. We have Tammy Abraham leading your attack, somebody who played on loan last year uh, in it's the just, championship. It's just unfortunate that Chelsea have been. Given that uh, one year ban by uh, uh, by UEFA and FIFA, but they allowed players to go. But if, um, see, you cannot owe the player that, that I want to stay. If the player no, stays, they to had leave. an agreement. They had an agreement with Juventus over um, this striker, uh, going and I think it was for two year loan. But if but the after player, the first loan, they decided to if turn him back. If the player wants to leave. Can and is it can and is a transfer request and leave. He can no, he, he, he was not actually a, a player of Chelsea. He yes. was loaned, and he can cut his loan and go to another no, club. It depends on the club. To it depends depend on the club. On the it depends too. on the club to persuade the player uh, uh, to stay. Yes. Now they have Alvaro Morata, who was on loan by now, uh, Atletico Madrid, and they still allow him to go. 
Now he has gone on the permanent deal. You've said the right word, persuade. He can persuade me, but it's not left to me to say yes or no. So everything just boils down to the player's willingness to that stay. As a team and a player, what does the player want? A player wants to play. Yes, a player wants to be well paid. If you can give a player these two, they stay. And if he had a better offer than what the current one was giving him, he would leave. Of course, but you allowed two strikers to go. They wanted to leave. Two strikers. They wanted to leave. Now, and, Chelsea... And, and, and I believe Chelsea will have tried to maybe be uh, behind closed doors to convince and everything, but if the player's mind is no longer in the club, you cannot hold, you cannot hold I, back... I actually and, disagree with you. You cannot hold if back... If you talk about Avaro Morata, I would say, okay, because he felt he was not well treated in Chelsea, so uh -huh. he, he wanted to go. But... Iguain. So if you recall, towards the end of last season, Iguain too was receiving some backlashes from the fans. Doesn't towards matter. End of, so you see, if there's if the player does not feel connection with the with the, or with, the, with the with the club, he feels okay. Let me leave. As in, and he was going to a coach that brought him to to Chelsea. To Chelsea. They played together in Napoli. They met in that. He brought him to Chelsea. Now he has gone to Juventus, and he's, he, uh, luckily he's a player of Juventus. And of course, guy, please come, 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 come back to your, your hometown, your place, your, 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 your territory. So it's just so now, now, so are you, for again, the about, about, about have, the players, they have players. It's just the, un unlucky, and that isn't almost there. And no, again, I don't agree with you. And again, the same Chelsea allowed David Lewis to go to Arsenal. When you know at your defense, uh, uh, Kiel has left. Yeah. You know, you don't have experience at defence and it was exposed. Who knew, that defence was who, exposed. Who, and who knew David was leaving until two days or a, or a day to... Why did you allow him to leave? It, it came as a, as, a, as a root shock. And this is the this same pattern that they were used, used for PSG to come back to Chelsea. Almost uh, a day or two to the deadline. Why did you allow him to leave? What? He's your player. You but, can decide you are not selling. But, but the player said he wants to leave. And cannot hold him back. What's you can't thing? hold him back. Okay, if, if he, he has a contract that is running, you can hold him he back. Pays, and he pays the money. He pays the. He pays the money for the. He pays the contract out. What can you do? Depending on the kind uh, of contract so you sign with. Out him. of even not pays out is a is a buyout clause by himself. What players have done that in the past? In the Premiership, only few players have a buyout clause. And he has done that. Out of if you don't know that you don't know the the terms of himself. Actually, of his from what we gathered, the coach. Told him he was not a first team player, and you're not expected to not stay. Now, why would you ask a player that's as experienced as David Lewis that he's not going to be your first team player? And you're not expected to stay. So that is the problem. Why did you tell him that he uh -huh. won't play? So when you are because you brought Kurt Zoma, uh, Zoma back, you have Christensen there, and uh, you have a rookie uh, Emerson as, as, as one of your football. The only, the only experienced player at their back is as a, as player player Kuta. I believe was that his name. Uh, that is the only experienced player, and he's, they say he's the captain. He was. He doesn't have control over the team. He doesn't have a leadership uh, skill. Uh, and uh, was, Chelsea, they don't have a leader, and the only leader they had is uh, at that point is uh, was David Lewis. They, they should not have allowed him to go, but unfortunately, he left because of whatever issue. They then when you look at the midfield, yes, against 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 Norwich, yes, in fairness to Lampard, now he said he, he said the uh, primary people that he would have used was the uh, Kante. Kante was not fit. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he brought him up later up in, in the match, and then it was not so it was not so fantastic. And again, he may not even be playing tonight because he still is much rusty, and uh, and he still he still has an he still has an injury. Is much rusty. So now the odds are totally against uh, Chelsea. Chelsea tonight. Then when you look at Liverpool. their forward line, their forward line they have Tam Abraham leading the attack, and Giroud. And Giroud, Giroud came from the bench, which I feel Giroud is supposed to have started that game because Giroud, Giroud, Giroud is, uh, uh, is, an, is a more experienced uh, uh, striker. And, 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 and it's, of it's, course, it's when you look at Chelsea and you see their lead striker Oliver Giroud being an Arsenal reject. What kind of picture do you have of that team? Do you see that team coming up against the top six and flexing muscle with them? That's a question for another day. You never can <laughs> tell. You never can tell what can But as it stands right now, uh, based on current form, based then Liverpool as, as as a club right now, they have a. I will not say they have a challenge per se, but not as far as per the goalkeeping challenge. Uh, Allison's out for the next few weeks, and yeah. a backup keeper. He's going to come in. The, the guy is good. He's good. 
uh, but it, uh, it is not as good as we we see um, Alison. And uh, we hope to see that he does not get frightened by being on a world stage that he has not been able to experience as a goalkeeper. He has never played in a Super Cup before, in a, a European Super Cup. So probably he's going to feel the pressure. And I believe uh, Jurgen Klopp, being a good, being a good uh, coach, being a, being a good uh, motivator, he is going to talk to him. Uh, don't worry. You have a good defense line in front of you. They will protect you. And I believe, I do not see how Tammy Abraham, even, even uh, Giroud, breaking the defense line led by the almighty Van Dyke. Van Dyke. Virgil Van Dyke. So, which, who, who, has been, who has been recognized as one of the best defenders right now in the world. And say for the first time in, uh, in, in, I think in about five years or so, that a player dribbled him. And that was uh, during the that was during the Carling Cup, sorry, uh, against Man City, uh, the season opener with Man City. Uh, the, uh, uh, community Shield. So, Community Shield, yes. That, that was the first time, st I was telling, that was the first time a player would dribble uh, yeah, Dijk. by Dijk in about five years. So, that's to show you the quality of, the, the quality that Liverpool has. So, it's almost, it's almost given, it's almost given, given according to bookmakers that Liverpool will be the Super Cup champions net, except if a miracle happens and where they, fall, where they begin to fall like a pack, pack of cards. cards. Okay, let's look at the comments from the fans. Mukhtar Abib, Abibi Dankulu, he say, not now. He say, it is not now that Chelsea will beat Liverpool. <laughs> that so, where, where will Chelsea beat uh, Liverpool? I don't know. Then, uh, Ogunkunle Yusuf Omotayo, he say, Liverpool 3, Chelsea 0. You but agree with that? Uh, it's, it's, very, it's very possible, but at least I will say Chelsea score at least, it, 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 at least it should try and score one goal. By Juru, of course. Then uh, Mohamed Garba Salau is saying the battle is unpredictable, just as you say that anything could happen. Let's go in football. Then Uwaoma uh, Dara Chimereze is saying Liverpool won, Chelsea won. That means, of course, it's going to extra time and no, penalty no, no, shootout. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't say extra time in this, in this okay. game. Okay. Yusuf, ba but, but now. Um, Yusuf Bashara is saying Chelsea all the way, Super Lampard. Then uh, Fatoki Taye Timi is saying, you are started, bro. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know he's talking. <laughs> okay. So, um, we have uh, Anga. Kalayu, he said, up Liverpool, we don't walk alone. The game is in the hand of God. Oh. Yes, they don't walk alone. I like that statement. They yes, and Liverpool, they don't walk alone. Their, their faith is in their hands and as well as in the God. And okay. they're the rest. So. Okay, let's quickly go to the Twitter handle and see the few comments there. We have um, Onowu of Lagos. That is his name. There is a Chelsea. Chelsea didn't beat Man U. Is in pigeon. He said, "Just no beat man you. We no complete. Now live up with the one beat." <laughs> 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 he said, "The comment is heavy." Uh, that's that. In, in literally speaking, that just if that could not even defeat a half baked man you, man you will now no defeat me. a fully groomed uh, Liverpool. Liverpool. Uh, it's 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 a, it's a thought. It's a, it's a very very tall task uh, and ambition for Chelsea right now, which is so sad that. A, a club of that uh, caliber, a club that has experienced all the best. They, are, they have yes. been, they've, mm. they've won the Champions League, they've won the Europa League, they still won it last season here. Yes, and, and, and they are just and, like and this. And they are league champions, they won Cali Cup, they won FA Cup. It's a, it's a club of uh, champions. And uh, and, and uh, all the players they are champions in their own in their, we have no, not, in their, not all the players. The, when, you the, at, the look, basic, when you look at when you look at the lineup the, the, the main, against the Manchester player. United, you have Tammy Abraham leading the line. Mm. You have uh, Pedro who was so selfish all through the game. He feel bigger uh, than Pe everybody Pe in Pe the Pe team. Pedro, is, I think he's trying to be like the new hazard of the team, and that's he should play his game. No, what I feel is that. Is feeling bigger as in bigger than every other member of that team, and he feel uh, okay. he, he cannot, he cannot uh, uh, pass. Uh, uh, maybe because he's quite that beautiful. He cannot pass to Tammy. That that beautiful TV goal during the preseason. Okay, it, it, so that's what I felt in the game against Manchester United. No, I feel I feel um, that he feels that he he, he wants to take up the role as the main star of the team. 
now that uh, Azad is gone, that he's going to be the main man of the team. And uh, I'm not sure he will be the main man. He can, there's for right now there's no main man in that there's team. There's no main man in that team. There's nobody. There, there's nobody. At the, the just, the game. You are just waiting to discover somebody. There's nobody that season. in that team that the the game will be revolving around. That will give you. That will give you that spark. How about William? William tires out easily, and sometimes he just goes off. He just go missing. He, he goes missing. Yeah. But it's not like Hazard. Even on his bad day, he still tries. He still, still makes something. He still makes that something. guy that gives you that moment of magic. You yes. Know? But not William. And then, okay, Oscar, Oscar that could have done such left. Oscar? That could have done such. Since how many years? That could have done <laughs> left. I mean, you know? So Chelsea have lost some good players over the years that they could have managed to retain. Even Mikel Obisa could have used him as well. No, 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 mm -hmm. no, no, no. Mikel cannot play at the top level for now again. Okay, that was the fact. Okay, not the fact, So uh, let's uh, Roland Agavi say draw penalties. No, I don't see penalties. I don't see penalties. I too. don't see penalties. It's after a 90 minutes game. The issue is this the way Liverpool plays, there must be goals. There must be. You know? Not that they, there must be. They, there will they, be they, goals. There they will, will be, attack you they will, they and will attack you, you and have, continue attacking you. You have Salah. You have Femino. You have. Uh, Origi is there. You have. Uh, Mane. Mane is there. Uh, and you have a very strong midfield where mm. Anderson at the base. Not even strong. Mobile, mobile midfield because they choke you. The then you have these super wing uh, fullbacks, yeah. Robertson and um, uh, this other guy. I can't call him. And, and and they're always flying. They're, they're they, always flying. And they have this strength for ninety minutes. You can't see them get tired. That's the Liverpool we know in the past. So are you not put this team against a Chelsea team? That I don't know what Frank Lampard is trying to the style is trying to if, play. If I were to be Lampard, they touch the ball, they pass balls around, I, but they have no bite. If I if I were to be Lampard, I'll just try take uh, Mario's uh, template, park the boss. Who do we, now look <laughs> at the players who can pack the who can who can defend for you? You remember in time Lampard was Barcelona, where uh, Inter were one man down. What did they do? All men backward. They did not even pass the half line. Even Eto that was playing nine came to play too, all men behind the ball. So just pack the boss because you know that there's no way your defenders can com co conveniently old Salah, conveniently old man in that is extra extraordinary mobile. Mm. That can completely if Femino okay, it might still drop back a little big. But if Femino just gets an opportunity, slight opportunity in that box setting, is then it works like a spirit. You just pop it, just pop up and put the goal. You will not see him, it doesn't go backward, it doesn't run up and down. It just Pop up, like say, like spirit, yeah. just one pump. Yeah, scored. It's money that still goes to the midfield, run, dribble, go a little bit, uh, or Salah that still come back, uh, come back. Uh, but money does not, I say, uh, for me, I, mean, I, I, I don't know. Rodiger, Rodiger could be available this evening because he traveled. Uh, so was um, um Golon Kante, I think. So uh, I don't know if those two players will be part of the team. They will start, we, uh, we'll wait until the team but if comes out they don't more. start, Liverpool would. They will eat the defense. Rock. Uh, Lampard has or has studied Mourinho in the past. He played under Mourinho. When he when Mourinho faces stronger teams, that you know that they are attacking. But Lampard doesn't play like Mourinho. Even when he was in Derby, he wasn't playing like he's, he p plays an attacking game. Attack and lose fabulously. But do you, defend, have, do you even have the, the players or to defend, defend and lose by one goal. You have the players to defend. Pack all men behind the ball, defend and lose one goal is better than you attack, 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 and you and be receiving Losing goals. by one goal, team means you've lost. Yeah, uh, but at least you respect, defend, you respect not, <laughs> he's, he's not, he's not collect. Okay, uh, let's hear what the coaches are saying. Um, of course, people will say we are favorites because we came second in the Premier League last year and won the Champions League and all these things, but it's about who is more ready on the day, and hopefully, it's us. That is what Jogan Club is saying. In mind games. Yeah. Then um Lampard is saying I'm optimistic because I believe in the players and the fact that we are here in the final because we deserve to be. I'm very I'm very understanding of the quality of the opposition in Liverpool, the team that deservedly won the Champions League and have a fantastic manager and group of players. If we play to our maximum we can win the match. Uh, it's being modest and uh, being uh, trying to encourage his, his team not to fear the 
talents in uh, Liverpool. You know, when when I go through his statements, it makes me I remember as a as a Wenger. <laughs> when he knew, you know, all those occasions I will know that look, my team cannot do anything against this opposition. They will still tell you I believe the quality of my players. <laughs> yes, just to just to encourage them, give them that you, <laughs> do your 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 hands so you can battle against these giants. Do your David. You can de debate this. Uh, uh, so I'm very conversant with this. Uh, so say, it's, this it's, line it's, of uh, it's all, it's all you no know, time to ginger the player. That like, guy, guys, don't worry, you are, you are safe. Go out there, and play just, your game. No, you know when you know you are not as strong as opposition, you will tell your players go out and enjoy yourself. And enjoy yourself. Do what you can do. Mm. Feel free. Don't be scared. I know when players play with freedom. Without any fear, that's okay. Just we are, we are going to lose. And when they collapse, they uh -huh. collapse very woefully. So that, that's uh -huh. just it. But but all in all, the good thing about this uh, UEFA Super Cup that we are going to have the f first time a complete uh, women referee that are going to ref the old, except for uh, a man that uh, was in the game. The uh, uh, VA, VA, yeah. uh, yes. But then, for the first time in history, woman a woman is going to be the center ref. In fact. The women are going to be the center referee and the center referee for a major men final, and uh, it's, it's a good one for it's a good one, it's a good one for the uh, for the women referee association, and uh, so from there we will see what happens, how she perform tonight. But then she said this is not a major uh, appointment. That means she has done. She, 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 she was the ref for the she was the ref for the women's uh, federal for the France uh, World Cup. She was the setter ref for the final in in, uh, in France. So she's good to go. Okay, now well, let's quickly leave football and go to basketball, where our uh, female national team our, are doing wonders in Senegal. You know our our the Tigers they are the champions, so they are back again to. Uh, defend the FIBA women Afro basket title that they won uh, the last time and they came out smoking against Cameroon they defeated by 106 to 39 in fact that, the, is, that is an emphatic win in fact at the first two quarters they were already, they were already about 70 seven or 70 points ahead even in the first <laughs> quarter they were 17 zero ahead so they, they it was like a one one way traffic. They were already, in fact, they were angry. They came out, they battered Cameroon. They had no mercy for Cameroon. They just came out, girls, we will destroy these girls, and they destroyed them. In mm. fact, and their first game against uh, Tunisia. was Tunisia. They, it they was won an 70, win too. 75 76. These girls are smoking. Yes, they are. Mm. And you know, that, that, is the, that is the benefit of you having a team together for a long, very long time. These players have been together for, for, for like three, four years now or so. And, then, and most of them, the chunk of the players, they've been playing together. So they understand each other very well. They know how, they know the strengths and the weaknesses of each of the players, and they know how to complement each other. I think there's time. I think now, now I will go a little bit beyond uh, basketball now. I'm going to talk about now. There's time for them for the sports federation in Nigeria now to focus on the women sports men. I mean, women uh, sports women now. Mm -hmm. Look at Super Falcons. They're the champions in Africa. They make Africa. They make Nigeria proud in Africa. Mm -hmm. Basketball too. They're doing the same thing now. In fact, their ranking, their ranking came came up after the exploits. In uh, in uh, in the world basketball in, in Spain, where the, where where they defeated big, of course, when they met the uh, US, they of course they have yeah, to, have to but bow. <laughs> they defeated countries like Spain that are far far above them yes. in terms of ranking. Uh, yeah, but that that and, that means and, and the best but in when Africa. You, when you look when you look at the popularity of the women game, is not as much as that of the male. Even in tennis, where you see Serena Williams will be shouting and will be. We will be condemning the organizers of because mm -hmm. of the prize money for the women mm -hmm. uh, players that you know is far far lower than that of the male. Which is I know. which is unfortunate. Yeah, but the issue is this: which one, which of the games gets more attention, get more advertisement, get more money, put more money the, in? That's what people the look. The cash cows. Yes, yeah, that's it, what they look into the before they now say, okay, let's share this with the winners because we have gotten this this much. Of course, the female. Uh, games are coming. They are improving in Africa, but you cannot com you cannot compare with the. the, the no, they, they, they can't. It's just unfortunate that they can't. But probably as 
years go by. But again, our male, our male teams are not doing badly. Okay, if it's for the Tigers, not the basketball. Okay, now anyway, they, they've finished yeah, they their, 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 in the uh, Lagos camp now. They've gone for the U.S. training, and most of them are NBA stars. They, they play in NBA clubs and uh, most European uh, basketball. And uh, they are also good to go as well because even though they might not perform the same exploits that the girls have done on the world stage mm. because they're going to meet their... The girls, they, they've gone to the, to the Olympics now. Yeah, so like the girls. now the, the, the Tigers, they've qualified for the uh, quarterfinals at the second time of vaccine. And uh, of course, the, the title. In is fact, they them. got it was an automatic qualification from the group stage. Yeah. They didn't even go through the second round because they, because are, they led the group. You know, and they are, in the same group with and they are good. And they are too good. And they are too good. Yeah, they are too so, good. So uh, apart from them, we have other other teams that too that have qualified for the for the quarterfinal. We have um, we have Senegal, the host. We have Mali, and we have Mozambique, and the. Tigress will be playing the winner uh, between Cape Verde and uh, Democratic Republic of Congo today. So they will be playing the winner of the, the match tonight. Either Congo or Cape Verde. Those two clubs, sorry, those two countries are no match to, to the Tigress. Okay. So uh, can you just uh, let us in into okay. what our club... Uh, football clubs, uh, they are exploited during the weekend at the uh, continent. Br uh, briefly, uh, Canopilas have a long walk now against uh, Asate uh, Kotoko, even though they won by three goals to two. But for the fact that these guys came to Nigeria and they scored two goals, gives them that, that upper edge. That edge. That, that edge okay. in the return leg in, uh, in the fortnight. And uh, we will hope to see uh, Canopilas go back to uh, Ghana, meet, meet the two, now these are two champions. See, Canopilas is the, is the biggest uh, club in, uh, one of the biggest clubs in uh, Nigeria. Nigeria. And uh, we hope to see that they go to Ghana on the uh, 23rd precisely, 23rd precisely, and ensure that they don't, they try and score two goals back. Yeah, to, 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 to cancel, the deficit. Uh, cancel, but they should, not, they should not lose. Even if they should lose. No, they should, oh, they should not lose. They should not lose. They should not lose. Because 3-2, if those guys scores one, they score one goal, and that's the end. So they should not lose. Either a draw or... or, or so they should just go and pack the balls. Mm. So, <laughs> uh, so, so, and this is the first time in, uh, in several years that they'll be going back to the Champions, uh, Champions League. After, after I, think, I think, 10 years ago, that was the last time they actually entered... So let's see how, 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 how the other uh, club side will perform this week. And I think we will, we will okay. end there. Uh, let's quickly get just one transfer story. Uh, Alex Wobi left, Nigerian player left Asna at the weekend, at the, uh, last week, at the end of uh, the day, the final day, the deadline day of the transfer market. Left in a, in a big money move, almost £40 million pounds to Everton. That is the biggest... Uh, biggest move a Nigerian player has ever uh, made, yes. you know. So, and he's saying, Look, I took this step so that I can remove the young star tag on me. I want to discover myself. Or, or is it because Pepe left? That's what he's saying. <laughs> but of course, he said earlier that if Arsenal should sign with Fresh or Pepe, no, then the Pepe uh, issue okay. was not up then, it was with Fresh that he will leave. Though he came out later, I think two days later, and denied that he actually didn't say so. But obviously, he will, he will he, he, he actually say so, that he will look for opportunities where he can play regularly. Like Henry said, yeah. once a gunner, always, always a gunner. Once a gunner. So he has gone to, he's, now he's on loan, in quotes, to, to Everton. Everton. So do you see him? Well, yes, 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 yes. Yes, he will come, he will, he will come, he will come out and uh, he's, going to, he's going to do well in uh, Everton. Is 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 a very good uh, uh, forward line. So th though sometimes it can be so so annoying that when he has opportunities to do certain things, but then he loses uh, he loses chances. But let's it's a good move for him. And he is good to be playing regularly. I see him benching. What's what's this guy's name? Tio Walcott. Tio Walcott who also moved from Arsenal. Who also moved from Arsenal to. to uh, so I see him benching Tio Walcott, and I look forward to seeing uh, uh, our Nigerian born. Alex will be 
doing I wouldn't, if, if you ask me, I wouldn't want him to leave. I would just expect him to stay in Arsenal and fight for a place. But he, he has moved, so... He still wants to become a man, not younger, no younger, a young And it, since he started his career in Arsenal, so it's good that he has learned, he has, he has played other two coaches, so let's go and learn other experience from that club. And it's good for him, good for him. He's, he's going to be playing regularly, and uh, we wish him all the best in his uh, Okay, finally, his let's quickly read out some of the comments before my producer is already speaking. So, uh, in Dubusi Friday, saying, why not? Football is not measured by strength. He said Chelsea could beat Liverpool. Then, um, Olu Kolapo, George, he said, I'm not sure Chelsea is set yet. They will lose this match, but grow into the season. That is a point. Yeah, that's a good then point. Then Taiwo Oluato he said this Chelsea team is no match for Liverpool. Chelsea is still work in progress, unlike Liverpool. Also judging from their last league match, Lampard and his team now walk over for Liverpool. <laughs> so that means you just hand the cup to Liverpool. Bar. Yes, just don't waste your energy for that. Then uh, Aliu Atiku Muhammad is saying yes, up Liverpool. Then Al Hassan Al Idris, he say it's 50-50. It's not, it's not 50 50. okay so thank you for your comments for staying with us please keep the comments coming in we will we'll share it uh, with our readers and um, we expect to hear from us next week while where we come and tell you the latest in sports most especially in the epl and uh, things affecting nigerian players in the transfer market from me bye have a wonderful evening and enjoy your match against uh, your match tonight.